I'll give it a second. Happy Saturday. Saturday is the day ruled by Saturn. So happy Saturn day. Saturn is the planet of structure. What is your structure? How do you build? How do you move forward? How do you create guidelines for your own life? What rules and guidelines do you adhere by? And is it programming? Have you been taught that structure or do you create your own structure because you are a sovereign being really that's the point of this paradigm is for us to be creating our own structures to create something so radically new that you are creating that structure you're not building off of something that you were taught or old archaic beliefs that we are creating something so radically new so saturn day saturday is that energy and so my ascended masters that showed up for today freya and i love that she showed up okay because first of all her totem is the crow and um i was visited years ago by um a spirit spirit she was native and she said don't forget the crow and crows don't come on my property crows ravens blackbirds do not come on my property but whenever I travel they guard my travel and I will actually be with my beautiful sister Diana today we gonna have a day trip and um, so I will keep my eye open for that and also the cycles that we move through. So thank you, Freya. She talks about phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are going to be revealed and released. So I love that because Saturn, right? I'm creating new structures. So reveal to me the illusion of old structures so that I can create new structures. That's Saturn day, right? And so leadership. And so this is Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the, the healing Archangel and he is the guardian of the West. And so the leadership that um, this card represents is really being um, in the position to say, I'm the only one qualified to say this, so I'm gonna do it. It's not about bossing people, it's not about manipulating, it's not about control over or power over. Ste stepping into a leadership role is saying, oh, okay, I'm the one qualified for this. This is my path and purpose. I'm stepping into my truth. I am fully aligned, so I'm gonna speak what I know. That is what it is to be a leader. A leader is not the boss bitch and feeling entitled to like push people around, manipulate people and have people run your structures, right? Being a true leader is saying, I'm aligned. I recognize that I'm the one qualified. I'm confident enough to speak my truth. That's what leadership is. And then everyone else can be inspired to speak their truth and create their own sovereign structures. That's the point. Because when we all fall in, there are no overlaps. There is no competition. And everyone is doing what they're supposed to be fucking doing. And so, like, if I need to borrow a cup of flour, I know where to go for it, right? If I need to borrow a cup of sugar, I know where to go for it but it's not gonna be the same bitch saying, I got flour and I got sugar, but you can only have it if. Do you see the difference? That's the corrupt system that we are healing because we are moving back into full alignment of sovereignty where we each have a very specific role that we are qualified for. And if we don't align with that, then people can be misled to go to one place for the flour and sugar. I hope that made sense. Cause spirit gives me shit and I don't think before I speak and I'm like, okay, well, why is this coming up? And I'm like trying to look to see who's on the live with me. And I'm like, that was interesting that spirit had me teach it that way. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm not lying, y'all. As deep as the work is that I do fucking constantly, this card always triggers my ass. 
So Diana, we're gonna have a fun car trip. <laughs> this is the mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada healing. Um, and it doesn't trigger me healing feminine energy. Um, Cause honestly, I am the most feminine woman I know. And it's very rare for me to actually see a woman in her feminine, even as uber feminine as her body is. Um, it's a trauma response. You got Lady Nada too? Amanda or you got my analogy is that what you're saying <laughs> so um you got the analogy thank you for that because <laughs> I was like okay where is spirit going with this because honestly I don't when you're fully aligned you don't think before you speak it comes through you like it just um I like how this one woman said once I was so like healing so much of my own trauma and I was really coming out of a karmic relationship at that point and I was in so much like pain heart pain and she said who is this man that you're not listening to who's the man in your ear and I was like all of them <laughs> and I was like laughing but she goes no it's a man he's 28 like literally she said his age like right on I was like oh like fuck she twisted the knife and I told her, I was like, I think it's affecting my work. And I just started crying. She goes, oh no, God comes through you like a river. And so I ha it gave me pause. I was like, dang, she right, you know? So anyway, so I have to stand in that truth and confident in that truth that no matter what I'm healing and going through, that is the damn truth because I am aligned. God comes through me like a river. So anyhow, this card talks about the... The healing and it's no secret I'm very transparent with the stuff that I do I don't talk to either of my sisters and um, very recently through like Mother's Day I held my own mother accountable um, and I have not heard from her since so my birthday was is only a week before Mother's Day and she completely ignored me on my birthday so when Mother's Day came around um, I did send her a card, but it was, you know, there's, she was very neglectful of me growing up. And so there are no cards that are like, you're a shitty mother, you were neglectful. Um, but it said, because of the way you love me, I am the woman I am today. And I was like, that is the truth. So, um, but to clarify, I took the blank side of the card because you know how Hallmark always gives us that big blank side so we can say what we gonna say. And so I was just like, I am so independent because of the way you loved me. And because of the way you loved me, I dot dot dot. Because of the way you loved me, I blah blah blah. Because of the way. So basically like five different bullet points telling her how she actually like traumatized me, but it was her the way she loved me that I am the woman that I am today and um and that I am okay with that cuz I still love me that I love me, whether she knew how to love me to the level I love me or not was not the case. But um, so I was like, so happy Mother's Day and thank you. And I haven't heard from her since, but it, I'm okay with that. So um, so the Lady Nada card, it'll be interesting car uh, drive conversation, Diana. Diana's gonna be like, uh, let's stop at Starbucks so you could shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> Anyhow, um, okay, so purification by fire. Remember the second layer is like my inner circle, my peeps. And um, so the purification by fire, it talks about, um, well, here it says, bare essentials and naked truth wholeness. So really the purification by fire is always, and I say this all the time when I do ceremony because I use fire a lot in ceremony. Nothing can be touched by fire and not forever changed. And so, using fire in ceremony or healing is burning off that which is no longer allowed to be taken into the next phase the next level um the evolution what do i need to completely burn off to create space to move forward right so that's the purification by fire purifying is cleansing it's just taking taking that which is no longer serving you what is not aligned with me don't let the past hold you back. 
So this is interesting too, um, that this showed up. So South Node is the karma that you need to heal in order to move into your North Node, right? And I had heard once that that's like the greatest life hack. So I actually took a class and everything to really dig into my own South Node and North Node. My South Node is in Leo, which was the very fiery, like being visible. And so I worked hard on that, as you see, um, in the past year, especially where spirit kept pushing me to show my face on video because I never used to show my face. So a lot of that was healing that, but don't let the past hold you back. So I'll have to look to see if there's any more grit in that Leo energy that I'm still um, holding on to, and I'm sure, because I don't like being visible. I can't even listen to my own voice. Like, when someone asks me to share a video and I click on it and it starts to play, I'm like, ah, 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 I can't get my phone to shut up quick enough. But that's just me. <laughs> and um, so the big picture thinking is also, um, it echoes the leadership. And so it's the same thing. like. Everyone has a different perspective. That's the beauty when you're fully aligned. No one sees, um, even though I always say I want my partner to see the world the way I do. It's just, it's more about being in the space of magic and, um, and divinity more than seeing it exactly how I see it, if that makes sense. And so that's what this is. When you are fully aligned, your perception may be just as magical, but it's gonna be a different angle. And so from that big picture, I get to say, oh, I'm qualified to say that because I'm the only one standing in this perspective, right? So that's the point, right? And then we all get to share our perspectives. And when we do that, y'all, then the real truth is exposed. No one can say what the truth is because we are one. Get that? So the, all the facets, we have to be a whole on our own, but then all the facets have to come together as a whole to actually get the big picture, if that makes sense, I hope. Um, so that's the unity consciousness, y'all. Like, come on. Okay. So, um, the sacred geometry that showed up today is circle. That's wholeness. And I love that. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda is like on it. You had your coffee today. It's Saturday. All the boys are probably outside playing. You are on it, girl. <laughs> so circle is about wholeness and also returning to unity consciousness, which is what I just explained, so I don't need to over explain that. And um, serendipity, serendipity showed up in the reverse and that's been coming up fuck, a lot recently. Um, like even in my sessions for people, serendipity in the reverse. And I like mush this deck because it makes, it, it makes a difference if it shows up in reverse or not. And so serendipity in the reverse talks about um, going into a situation where you're like, this is going to be huge. And then it turns out to not be huge. And then you're like, wah, wah, right? And then it's like, no, that's actually good that that happened because now what's coming is going to be huge. So um, serendipity in reverse is like, no loss is actually a loss. It's just creating greater space. So that's true. When something comes in where you're like, this is it, you start like muscling around and really clearing space for that thing because you think it's the one. But actually what it did is it agitated you enough to create greater space. So when this goes, like there is even a bigger void than there was when this came in. Does that make sense? I am on it today too. Thank you. <laughs> and um, so Seraphonite was the stone that's my ally for the day. And it is a storm, which means that it stimulates all chakras. And um, Seraphonite is beautiful, like forest green stone. And it's got this silvery feathering um, in it, which is really beautiful. And it's the stone of healing. So I will carry these on my person today. These are my personal ones. I should probably put them in the basket for my sessions. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? These were really expensive because they're more rare. 
Um, I love that, how it looks almost like an owl face. This one too. So, thank you, Elizabeth. Let's see, Amanda says, yes, took them to the park and got some fresh nature, nature air, perfect. Lorena says, yes, that's what my weekend has turned into, planned something huge for, for weeks and it flipped. Right, so look, it taught you that you can do the planning, that you can create the space, that you can actually do this, and probably did a whole lot of it on your own, so now you're feeling more confident that I'm qualified to do this. And Elizabeth, thank you for the hard eyes. And so the culmination of today's spread, the all-encompassing hand, and I love this. So this talks about this exact thing being whole on your own so that we can return to unity consciousness. So I like the imagery that it used where it says, hold your hand out to be the receiving beloved and then the love and holding it together like that. And I do that a lot in meditation. because This mudra is actually the root chakra mudra. And so it does loop your prana through your heart space and I love it so I am the lover and the beloved and looping that energy through my body but this also talks about holding on to agony that you need to let it go and a lot of times we hold on to agony because we believe it protects us so really like letting that go and moving forward is so important so I can see now like the um, how these cards are all playing together. There's going to be some healing probably um, around like that, um, my relationship with my mother, sisters maybe, even my daughter, um, because my mother won't talk to me, but when my daughter is with her dad, so like this week, um, my mother will schedule Zoom calls with my daughter. And my son's not interested, like, he thinks that my, my mother is nuts and I've never done that. I will never ever plant seeds of judgment in my kids. They make their own decisions. They are sovereign beings. So I've never said my mother is crazy, but my son is like, I don't like talking to Mimi. She's full of shit. So that's my son's judgment. My daughter is a Pisces, very different energy than the Aries that is my son. And so my daughter is like, can't everyone just love everyone? And even though my daughter cannot really stand being on those calls because she said, you can tell that Mimi gets really agitated when she's not the one getting attention, which is an interesting observation because my daughter's only 18 and my niece is only 23, who is usually on the calls too. And my other niece is like eight, I think. And um, I believe both of my sisters are on the call. So 56 and, um, and 48 is my younger sister. And so um, this, and if my mom is not the center of attention, she gets agitated and my daughter recognized this. And I was just like, oh, okay. And I didn't say shit. Cause guess what? They get to have their own experience with her. But I just think that that's shady as fuck that um, my mother does it on the weeks that she's with her dad instead of having the balls to do it on the weeks that she's here with me. So, um, but that's how she be. So um, anyhow, and so thank you spirit for having me share that, whatever the fuck for, but um, <laughs> so that is today's spread. And thank you for gifting me your most valuable commodity, your most valuable currency, your time and your energy. I so appreciate you. And I so, so am blessed by your presence on my path. Thank you. And I am sorry for any misalignment that I myself have caused. Please forgive me. And thank you for this opportunity to clean that. I love you, I love you, I love you. On my way, Diana.